before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that the way you contact Dr. Mario Montoya is through Instagram DM and through WhatsApp. He's really fast. He really gets back with you. You ask him to send um, to send his quote. He's going to ask you to send a picture of your teeth, and he will give you a quote. Everybody quote is different, but he usually range from like five thousand to like seven thousand. But yeah, most definitely you DM him, and he get right with you. Yo, what's up, everybody? Yo, I'm just getting back from South America, man, Cali, Colombia. Um, I went and seen Dr. Mario Montoya. Um, as y'all can see, like I did like uh, a video like right after the procedure. Um, this is exactly 24 hours later. And I want to let you guys know how I'm feeling. Uh, I want to be more specific and answer you guys questions that you guys are DMing me. So the first question that I would like to answer is the traveling. First of Twinkle, twinkle, tweet into the fingers Flexing on the ground with her Instagram filter We could do a dust smash or do a chiller Wake up every day and know Here we go One day, one day, two day, three day, way Hey, follow me, follow such a cool dude. All the kids say they watch me on YouTube. Check out my website, all good reviews. And if your page pop, you gonna make revenue. This is my guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, my boy? Hola, papi. Hola, hola. What's up? How you doing? Come on, Bien. Money. One time for the haters that's lurking. Lurkin'. Two time for the mamas that's working. Nah. Go and get your ball on Steph Curry. Shorty bad, follow back in a hurry. Wallin' on the gram, all in my comments, all in, all in my mentions. Yeah. But first, let me mention I that I am so gifted yeah. and you cannot stop me. Stop. If you gon' hate, then just go ahead and block me. The process of me traveling here wasn't bad as far as like flying, but. What I didn't like is the layovers. Like the lay, like you could do a straight shot if you want to. Like if you want to pay a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred to just go straight eat there from wherever you are to Cali Columbia and ride that six hour flight, six to eight hour flight, be my guest. I got the layover and yo, I was in Florida for eight hours before I hopped on a plane. So other than that, the travel was straight. I, I arrived here, went in, uh, showed them my passport, went through, customs asked me what I was here for. I told them to um, see Dr. Mario. They asked me how much money did I have on me. I didn't, a lot of people carry cash. I did not carry no cash. I only carry like $200 on me to, to pay for the, the driver and some food when I'm here. Other than that, I one one swipe shorty, pop swipe, boom, it's paid for. Doctor Montoya, he does provide a driver to pick you up from the hotel. I mean, I'm sorry, from the airport, and then take you back to the hotel. That is. Uh, his driver charges $40 to pick you up from the airport and take you to the hotel. Um, by your choice, whatever hotel you book, or you can stay at his recovery home that he provides. And it's like $90 uh, to stay at his recovery home. Like I said before, I chose to stay at uh, the Speedwalk Hotel because I wanted to experience Columbia and it was very nice. This is the hotel. Sanax. We're gonna go to room. Okay. 
microwave, refrigerator, water, nice, nice bathroom. I am staying at the Spiwak. Stand up shower, nice and clean. And we're gonna go to the bathroom. This is nice. Ooh, nice bed. Alrighty. My flight landed in Cali, Colombia at 11.30. His driver came to pick me up. I checked in my hotel at like 12 at night. It's already 12 at night. I'm pumped up. I can't really sleep. I'm researching. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my old, my teeth. And I'm like, uh, so I'm up all night. Yo, so it's like 2.30 in the morning. Driver kind of picked me up at 6. I'm making some noodles right now. Uh, it's like <laughs> yeah so I flew in late so it's 6 o'clock in the morning I'm about to get breakfast because my hotel serves free breakfast so I'm going to get breakfast now and um, because I heard that it said people say that you gonna, it's real hard to get something to eat here. It's really not, but I just want to get something to eat before and be and eat bacon and all types of hard fruits while I can right now. So I'm going to get my breakfast. Try to put some stuff in my stomach because I might not eat today after the procedure. So I'm going to eat now. Me twinkle, twinkle, tweeting Twitter fingers Flexing on the ground with her Instagram filter We could do a dub smash or do a chiller Wake up every day and know you're a winner Bink bop, bink bop, do it on TikTok Swag stay dripping like ice cream drip drop If you hate it, kick rocks, check out the time rock Lions, Tigers, Bears, you can catch us at the big time When I'm on social media, I put in work What's a clown in this thing? Watch my full work God is good. The driver does come back and pick you up to take you to your appointment and take you back. And that's like a, a $15. So the main question that everyone uh, asks me is how much did my procedure cost? So if you want to tally up like, you know, your travel and hotel and all that stuff like that kind of don't kind of like add that in your procedure cost because you kind of book that way in advance and we're strictly just talking about the procedure i had i would put up a picture right here of my original teeth ew it's ugly can't believe y'all looking at that yeah like we gonna move that out the way um i had two cavities in the front and I had a cavity back here. Uh, my procedure was 7,500 and I had a 500 deposit that I put down. So I only had to pay 7,000. This is the receipt. Um, and what they do is they clean your teeth uh, before the procedure. Wait, before I even go that way. So yeah, that's how much my procedure costs. And I just want to let you guys know like, don't take my quote because everybody's mouth and teeth are different. So don't quote me on mine. If you have, you know, teeth that looked like that or whatever, or you had teeth that was, you know, you might have teeth that's uh, crowded or you might have teeth that's like um, growing over another teeth or behind another teeth. But with my, and I, also, I actually had teeth like that. So what I did was, you know, if you have dental insurance, you kind of want to get that done in the States and take it um, and go get your teeth extracted. If you got any crowded teeth, any overgrown teeth, go get those teeth extracted. Go get in before you go out there. Um, that would be my advice. Uh, driver come pick me up at 6.30 the next day, take me to the dental office. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. First thing I gotta like it. 
nothing, bro. My picks be fire. Diamonds clear like water, though. So, so fresh is my name. And the C is the squad. I'll pay the million views. Every time we go live, I'm feeling chill my favorite. And my dog, you lit. Make a tick tock, but I want to show up the bit. And bro, on fleet. Take a selfie with me. When I put up my camera, everybody say cheese. Cheese, cheese. Don't follow me. Tweet, tweet, tweet a little deal. All on chill at Michael Jackson Village. I'm a vibe, baby girl, so subscribe to me. Hey, my is only 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning. Um, when you go in there, he's going to call you to his office. He's going to do like a consultation. Um, he's going to ask you what you like to look for. What, is, like, what, should, what, what are you going for? He's going to break down the procedure. It's working, man. It's working. Action. <laughs> That's I'm really happy to have you here. Thank you, man. <laughs> okay, so. I was talking to you about the procedure. Usually when you come to the dentist and talk about behaviors and talk about smile design, always the dentist comes to you or shaving that your teeth to take an impression and send to the laboratory. And the lab will send you the behaviors to place one by one, right? And that's the regular mm -hmm. procedure that all the dentists are doing makes. But the biggest problem is when you did that any dentist shave on your teeth, your teeth will be that much permanent because the teeth can't grow back. Mm -hmm. It's a different condition. Uh, if you receive a hit, if you fall down and you had an accident, you broke your teeth, okay. Is necessary to shave it down just a little bit your teeth yeah. to take an impression and send to the laboratory uh, uh, to, uh, to make a cap or to place a bridge, okay? But if your teeth are fine, it's crazy that you get an any dentist shave your teeth to get the top accepted dentistry, okay? It's yeah. crazy. So the procedure that we are going to do for you, uh, we are going to get chemical urine, your natural teeth with the veneer. Chemical and molecular urine dynamic with the veneer. You want us to decide size, shape, length, and color for your teeth. You can say, for example, Mario, I would like my teeth to be longer, or shorter, forward, or backward, thicker, or thinner, whiter, or thinner, whatever you want, we make it for you. That's great. It's because you don't shave down teeth, and we already have natural, natural, big, healthy teeth that is going to be bigger, but I don't want... For example, in that condition, if your teeth are fine, and you have big teeth, if you decide to make use a little bit shorter, yeah. we can shave down just a little bit, yeah, like one of your teeth, yeah. to look shorter, and after that, as thin as possible, they will look more natural. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You too! After, after I'm this finally person, here! <laughs> I'm finally here, man! He gotta listen. Well, he gotta know. Your they love smart, I get the billion dollar smile, <laughs> and I'm gonna hit my move one time. <laughs> <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, tweeting Twitter fingers Flexing on the ground with her Instagram filter We could do a dub smash or do a chiller Wake up every day and know you're a winner Bink bop, bink bop, do it on TikTok Swag stay dripping like ice cream drip drop If you hating kick rocks, check out the time rock Lions, Tigers, Bears, you can catch us at the pit I be flexing on the gram, no cap I like stunning, bro, my pigs be fire Diamonds clear like water, though So, so fresh is my name FTC is the squad, we hit a million views Every time we go live, okay. I'm the chiller, my favorite, yeah. and my dubs be lit. What's Make up? a TikTok when I wanna show off the fit. Afro on fleet, take yeah. a selfie with me. What's when up? I put on my camera, everybody say cheese. Yeah. Cheese, cheese, cheese. It's, it's not 100% porcelain and it's not 100% composite resins. It's 80% porcelain, 20% composite. So it's a, it's a mold. And I think, I believe that the 20% composite in it creates that clay, the, the little, the, the material. And then the material is, uh, the other 80% of it is porcelain. And they put it on your teeth individually, shape it out, do all that. Sheesh, sheesh, gonna follow me, tweet, tweet, tweet a little deal. All on Trilla, Michael Jackson, Billy G. I'm a vibe, baby girl, so subscribe to me. Twinkle, twinkle, tweeting Twitter fingers. Flexing on the ground with her Instagram filter. We could do a dust smash or do a chiller. Wake up every day and know you're a winner. Yeah, uh, another question that they asked me was, did it hurt? No. Uh, did it hurt, did it hurt, did it hurt? I want to be completely honest with y'all. The procedure itself did not hurt. Whatsoever, like the sh the sh like the the near like none of that hurt. What hurt it me was the most simplest thing. You'd be like, why would that hurt you? I had I had real bad sensitive teeth. So 
what was causing me to have discomfort was she'd be doing whatever or he'd be doing whatever whatever he's doing and he'd take the the, the tinsel to, with the water just to shh to clear it off and every time he sprayed yo like i wanted to like yo it was just like so discomforting because my teeth was really really sensitive mind you they don't shave your teeth or none of that now you can't just teeth shave down and stuff like that but Every time they spray my teeth with water, so I'm nine times out of ten, I'm probably like one out of ten that have really, really bad sensitive teeth. So when he put cold water on my teeth, it was really, really aggravating and discomforting. Um, it's a little utensil that he used that was like a small little drill, and it kind of like, like draw, like I ain't gonna say draw, but it kind of like really clean, like around your gums. That didn't hurt, but at certain points in the back of my mouth, I was it was hitting a nerve because I had a cavity back there. So that's why I said it's just all on the condition of your teeth. If you just got healthy teeth and you just want to get veneers and you are, and you want to get your teeth whitened, you're going to be perfectly fine. You don't even have to get no um, no root canals, no cavity, nothing like that. You're just going to come clean your teeth, put your uh, veneers on. Right now, this is the before. A couple cavities, a little big gaps, big gums. Now, mm -hmm. sir, show me. Wait, 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 wait. Now, show me the after, man. Man. Wow. Man. Hold on one time. Hold on, wait. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hold on. <laughs> uh. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. He did it. He did it, man. Shout out to uh, Mario. Hey, sir. Let um, me tell you something. Your team looks really nice. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, man. sir. You look really happy. Are you I'm happy? happy? I'm happy, man. Make sure y'all go follow us on Instagram. Follow him on Instagram, uh, Dr. Mario Montoya. Follow me on Instagram, smiles with a Z dot P. You can follow our YouTube channel at Fresh the Clowns, man. You can do all that. He hooked me up. I, I'm talking weird. I got to get used to it, but I get used to it, man, and it's worth it. It's worth it. Let me tell you something, sir. They look really nice, man. Thank the you. The most important thing is we never check into your teeth, okay? Never. Never. Enjoy that billion dollars, my sir. Billion dollars. I ain't even got a smile hard because I already got naturally big teeth, so don't think he made my teeth big. Cause my teeth is already big, so <laughs> he didn't. So it's all right. They look really nice, man. Uh, the, uh... Oh, okay. I had cavities, so they started the cavity process. They didn't even start the veneer process. They started the cavity process, uh, cleaning my teeth, getting the cavities together, got that out the way. And once the cavity, and that took like an hour, two hours maybe, because I have four cavities. So it took like four, two hours to do the four cavities. And then after that, that's when the veneer process started. And the veneer process starts with, um, they literally, like she literally took the little stencil and they they gum, they did gum um, contouring. And that's when they take like this little laser pen, like this little laser stencils and you can smell it. And they lay, like some people got really gummy gums or if your gums are too low down, I already had like natural high gum line like this they didn't really do too much because it was like natural but like this side of my mouth like had to be gum contoured so they lasered that so once they finish doing that they get like this little scraper thing and make sure all the stuff is scraped out then they put the um they cut they they let you select your color now mine Dr. Mario, he recommends whatever he feels fits best for you. But what he recommended that fit best for me, that's not what I felt. So when they put like the brightest white on my tooth, I was like, nah, this is what you guys should do. Like when they when you when you're picking the color white, open your eyelid like this, and then look at your teeth. Because your teeth shouldn't be like, okay, some people have might have yellow eyes or whatever, whatnot, but majority of people have white people. I mean, not people, but have white eyes. So I did like this and said, nah, that's too white. You know, then they bought me the B1. That's the white right before the whiteness. And that's the most natural white you want to get. And then when they put that on my tooth and I did like this, it was a perfect match. So 
Um, I went with the B1 uh, because I didn't want that Hollywood super white. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want all that. I didn't, I didn't. Like, that took like two hours, yo. Like that took like two hours just for her to do my top. Now, mind you, everybody is really up to like it's really like only five hours to do it if you really come in and get you in here. It's only like five hours. But like I said, with me, I had cavities in the front tube in the back. So as she was doing the veneer, she still was steady, like scraping and moving stuff and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, just the top row took about two hours. And then she got to the bottom row. The bottom row took a little faster. That was maybe like an hour. And then once all your veneers is on, they, um, once all your veneers is on, what they do is, they take like, they start really like, you're not gonna like them. Like some of you, they, they put them on you like, oh no, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. But Lulu, I, I didn't know that that was just to get them on and then the actual cosmetic part of like literally making your smile beautiful came after that. I didn't know that. So after they put all your veneers on, you're gonna like, you got big marshmallows in your mouth. Then she's gonna go and get the kit that has all the buffering and trimming and all that stuff. So after you do all the veneers, they give you the, she come back, y'all take like a little break because you've been laying down for about three, four hours. They take a break, a little 15 minute break, y'all come back. Then she start buffering your teeth and all of this stuff. Da -da -da -da. I, I told Dr. Montoya specifically, like I want you working on my mouth. I am a professional entertainer. I travel the world, I have things going on. I want the best of the best working on my model. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. He didn't do 80% of the work, he did 20% of the work. She did 80%, he came in and did 20%. And got it how I went. I went by, I did fly alone, so for everybody that's like, uh, they scared to travel and stuff like that. So it's okay. It's not bad. It's not what people say in South uh, South America is and Colombia is. Out is not. It was real peaceful. It was real calm. It wasn't nothing like. And I'm from Detroit, so like my antennas was up, and nothing. And I end up and I end up leaving these on. Like so, I was like, you know what? Cause I was gonna come down here with like all black, rough looking. And he's like, yo, I'm gonna be myself. If it's meant, you know, for something bad to happen, I'm gonna be myself. I'm not about to be doing all that. But, but yeah, uh, shout out to Dr. Montoya, man. He did his thing. Uh, getting my teeth done was something like I always wanted, especially for my birthday this year. So that's why I went and did it. Um, I was real, real, nobody really knew this, but I was real, real self-conscious about my teeth and my smile. Even in what's ironic is my name always been my nickname always been Smiles. Like that's always been my name. My name always been Smiles. No matter how self-conscious I am, nobody called me Smiles because of my smile. They call me Smiles because of my personality. And like when I when I'm in the room, I make everybody smile. So that's kind of where my nickname came from. But now, but now, what you think they gonna call me Smiles for? What you think they gonna call me smiles for, baby? No, I'm just hungry. I haven't ate nothing. So let's share this experience together. Let me try to eat in front of y'all so we can see how that go. You can eat whatever you want after you're done, but you just can't eat nothing hard. Like, pause. You can't eat nothing. You can't eat nothing tough, like chicken, anything like that. Chicken, hard fruits, stuff like that. So what I went and did, since I'm in Colombia, I went and got some Colombian spaghetti. Ooh, I'm about to drop it. Boom, right? Let's see, let's see. see that? I went and got some pasta, basically. With the meat in it, pause again. It's not tough, you know, so we're gonna take this first bite and see what happens. I ain't gonna shoot yet.
Okay? You can't really... You can't really, like... It's weird because you're still feeling like... I'm feeling my... I'm feeling them chomps, so... But... This would do, though, like... It's really good spaghetti, and this would do. Um... All right, I just arrived to the airport. Um, I know y'all tired of seeing me in yellow. This is my friend John. This is my driver who picked me up from the airport. Wish me a safe flight. Hi, man. guys. <laughs> How's that flight, my friend? Come on, best for, for here. All right, man. Okay. So I'm heading back to the States, and I'll be back. I'll okay. be back. All right. Okay. Thank you, Take Johnny. Care. You're welcome, friend. Appreciate it. Cheese. <laughs> but this is just a 24 hour to post, you know, just to see what will happen and what it will feel like. And let me give you guys a close up. If you do have a car, if you don't, if you don't want to travel with the money, um, you don't really have to do money exchange currency because I was only down there. If you're down there for like days and you want a vacation, stuff like that, all right, cool. But it's like. Three dollars today, one in USD. So, I just spent my regular money, and I downloaded a um, a currency translator too, so it can kind of tell you how much different things cost there. So, make sure you download the Google Translator. You you, you download the uh, currency translator, and you will be fine. Uh, but yeah, he you pay right then and there. Call your bank. And just just to be to, just to have insurance and just to reinsure you call your bank before you go maybe like a week before you go you let them know hey i'll be traveling in columbia with you do all this is a date i fly back in on why do i why i don't want to have any issues we'll swipe my car for this amount of money and they they know it for you and i didn't have no issues i swiped my car one swipe and i was good to go so yeah that's kind of like off of this vlog um like I said, I have more. I don't want to do a lot of talking. I just let the video shoot for like just let y'all can watch the clips, the video clips, and like my whole experience. Um, shout out to Dr. Mario Montoya. You feel me? You did. Yeah. She, gonna follow me. Tweet, tweet, tweet a little deal. All on Trilla, Michael Jackson, Billie Jean. I'm a vibe, baby girl. So subscribe to me.